Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Forced 2 The Rush. It's in, it's currently in alpha. One of my, uh, one of my Let's Play buddies gave it to me, and, uh, I'm very thankful for it. So, uh, uh his name is Elzerath, and, uh, go give him some love. Uh, cause he's, he's a really cool dude. And, uh, I don't know. Okay, so some people might have seen it. I haven't seen it. I didn't even know that this game was playable yet, but, uh, well, either way, I'm just gonna hit play. We're gonna go in the pit and hope for the best. So I think this is supposed to be like, actually, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know if it's like keyboard or mouse or controller or what. So create deck. Uh, can I just pick one randomly? How to, how to, Okay, so let's just pick everything. I don't know what I'm doing. And that's probably okay. Wow. This is all placeholder art. Like Heart of the Bull, Bloodthirster. God, these are awful. And that's hilarious. But, so, this game, uh... Just, uh... Just a heads up. I will say, uh... This game is an alpha, so, you know, all of this really quite shocking. All right, there we go. Uh, Squire of Light deck, I didn't care naming. Cute. So this game is in really early alpha. So the uh, the UI is awful. The cards are awful. All of this shit is going to be redone. This is in alpha 11. And this is kind of one of those indie studios that actually has some people behind it, so uh, this is actually going to look quite nice once they get it going. But right now, placeholder art, and looks like, yeah, it's Force 2 Alpha and our, and the date. But yeah, so if it doesn't look the greatest, well, that's because this stuff's being developed. Now, I actually have no idea what this game is, so let's see how it turns out. But I, I know probably less than some of you. Now, can you use a controller here? Nope. Looks like I am using keyboard and mouse. I'm going to disconnect my controller just in case it rumbles. And we're going to get in here. So, looks like I've got left click to attack. Right click does nothing thus far. Control space, nothing. All right, so, but it does look like I have these cards. So, these, oh, these are like permanent boosts I've got. So, how do I use this? Not enough mana. Oh, well, I just used a thing, apparently. Oh, spacebar uses something. How do I... Am I going places? I think I'm going places. Well, here we go. And... So, it looks like this is some kind of survival-ish game. I, I'm not exactly going to say survival so much as, like... It almost reminds me of Hand of Fate in a way, where you're like put into various arenas and you're supposed to like kill your way through things. But currently I'm just running around as effectively a paladin space marine type person and not entirely sure what I'm doing. So I get the Bloodthirster, permanent, 100% damage, and I do have Overcharge. Not sure what that does. Can I? Oh. Oh, I can use these. If I have enough mana, I can use them. How do I know how to mana? Oh, mana's the gems I have. So these are like permanent effects that I, I get to use on me. That's interesting. Trying to get it recording again. All right, so this is gonna be rife with a couple of technical problems, but this is interesting. I think this might actually be some kind of roguelike. I'm having trouble figuring it out properly, but it looks like you're given kind of a blank slate character and then you pour a bunch of cards in. Uh, Almost a la Hand of Fate, and then your goal is to, I guess, earn mana and whatnot to use on abilities that you upgrade your shit with. That's interesting. And really cool. I'm gonna turn that video off. Weird. But it looks like, it looks like there's a progress bar to kind of show how well you're doing. And I'm, okay, my health isn't doing so well, so it looks like... You have to worry about that, but yeah, your entire goal is to farm up enough gems by doing progressive arenas. Get out of there. Uh, progressive arenas to, you know, afford nice power-ups. Okay. This is nothing like the original Forced. At all. That's kind of cool, actually. And not expected at all. See, I thought this game was going to be like a, a co-op dungeon crawler type 
type deal and I'd just be doing single player because uh, multiplayer wasn't in yet. But uh, it looks like... It looks like... It's actually sort of a roguelike. Okay, so... This is an active. Uh, well, I'm kind of hurting, so I'm probably going to want to go that direction because I could do... AoE, more, more damage, but that's expensive damage for every card I play. Yeah, I'm going to go with Vampiric Blast and I'll save the rest. Not sure how... Oh, I press 1 to use it. Man, this UI needs some work. But then again, it will probably get worked on as we go along. Music is also maybe not... Oh, okay. I apparently have... Oh, I have a temporary invincibility move, which has a cooldown. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to turn on my... Uh, Life steal. Okay, don't take damage though. Because this doesn't matter. And it looks like the vampiric thingamaburb has a fairly lengthy cooldown too. I hope you get to unlock more characters here because I don't exactly like being the roving beam man here. It's not exactly compelling gameplay and I don't like slowing down just so I can cast this stuff. But it's cool nonetheless. Alright, each attack has a chance cleaving. Ooh. Or damage. I've got six. Um, I'm gonna go with Overcharge. I'm probably gonna want that. Mouse 2 fires that off. This is interesting. And apparently now I'm versing Schmuck Sehuzits. I'm gonna just use this. Now, is my vampire thing... Is my vampire thing, it like, super inconsistent? It looks like it. Okay. I also don't exactly know if I'm fighting, like, a specific person or a boss or, like, what the... What the deuce I'm doing here. Looks like I am way worse off than this guy. Ow. Okay, those... I apparently blocked them. Good to know. What's he doing? Okay, can I just hide behind this? Yeah, beautiful. Suck it, dude! And looks like... Looks like as long as I use and abuse my abilities, we're totally okay here. So this is actually a boss, not in anything... Ah, god, he killed me. With his butt. Okay. I, uh, unfortunately, I was utterly destroyed. That was interesting. But yeah, I think this is actually a roguelike. I'm I'm playing a roguelike and I didn't even know it at first. Oh, wait. Nope. Let's go back to main menu. Play. Uh, how do I go back? That's how I go back. Daily. Complete four quests to unlock. So apparently I have to go through this a couple of times to go through. Okay, I'm just gonna load load back up. Yeah, no, sorry, sorry about that for everybody in uh, Twitch chat that got knocked out. Uh, well, not knocked out, but uh, they got pooped at. Ooh, mana boost, one mana. So this gives us a couple of options here. Uh, but yeah, this is a roguelike. Weird. I'm gonna go with a cracking whip. Splash damage seems kind of fun. No, this is. This is interesting. I, I really hope that they add more to the environments and stuff. But it's got like a weird but damn it. It's got a weird potential to it. That I did not expect. Okay, so he just throws Molotov. So he's the Molotov guy. Unfortunately, since I don't recognize like half of the enemies, we've also got that going against us. Oh, does it Oh no, it didn't cycle all my abilities. What's this do? Mana every time I draw a card. Alright, we want to be able to afford that. That looks really cool. Uh, but uh, it looks like you can complete quests in this game somehow. Not entirely clear on that one. But, um, okay, note to self, don't go for the cleave ability early on. It's meaningless. Damn it, why do I keep doing that? Uh, let's see. But you unlock more characters by completing quests. I'm not entirely sure what quests are, if they're, like, challenges, if they're, you know, getting past a certain point, double my health. Ooh. But I want the other one. Because this is interesting. Yeah, they, they've got four in the game thus far. I just need to actually unlock them. And it seems like they have some level of stringent uh, requirements to make. Or not make, to unlock. What is this? Are you going to drop a thing for me? It looks like it's going to, but it's kind of hard to tell. They're also... Oh, you look kind of scary. Okay, so he just tasers everything directly in front of him. I really wish this... This game needs, like, a dodge roll system. I also could totally see this being a lot of fun. Okay, so this is not useful. What we want is this. And here's a healing potion. Yeah, okay. 
So that does actually exist in this game. I was worried about this, but I really hope they add like act active multiplayer uh, to play with other people in these arenas because this looks really cool. Uh, at least it has interesting potential. It feels like um, it might end up in a position kind of like okay, this is scary as well. But it seems like it might end up in a posi uh, end up being something like um, Hand of Fate, if Hand of Fate was pure combat and didn't have that whole you know, outer world uh, type gameplay, which I'm pretty okay with. Also getting really sick of just shooting light beams at a dude. All right, so, Sword of Thorns, uh, let's see. Oh God, no, that is awful. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go with Overcharge. Cause that is a nice little shockwave effect and we get another healing potion, all right. But uh, it, every game needs a dodge roll. Every game needs a dodge roll. Because if I could roll around, if I could do like uh, counterattacks and stuff, that would be really cool. Because currently it almost feels like I'm playing a uh, twin stick shooter without the twin sticks. It's keyboard and mouse, weirdly enough. And looks like I'm fighting a weird chain gun knob again. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, by completing this one... Ah, that's a lot of missiles. Wow, that is actually hugely effective. Good to know. My mouse two ability is probably worth getting my hands on. But I like the fact that you can like customize your decks so you know what like you'll draw, or at least you have a decent idea of like what you'll draw along the way. Shit, that hurts. That does a lot of damage though. That is good to know. Just have to make sure he doesn't chain gun me anymore. Oh, it's happening again. Uh should probably get that invincibility move. Seems like it would be largely effective. Oh, missiles, of course he has missiles, which does more damage than his chain gun. I guess that also makes sense. Let's go stand behind him for a little while. Or just ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, I'm gonna shoot him in the face with light beams. Seriously, I feel like I'm, I belong in, hello, droid bar. Um, I feel like I belong in, uh, oh. I wanna say, I belong in the Warhammer universe, like big old shoulder pauldrons, you know, crazy, weird light beam type things. All right, well, night intense, and let's keep going. But thus far, this is actually kind of cool. I just hope they add more to the game. Uh, also, the constant pirate shanties are probably going to drive me a little bit insane as well. Okay, this, this is a trap room on top of everything else. Which is not super surprising, but at the same time... Oh, you get them out of their barrels and they suddenly go way faster. That is problematic. It, okay. Keep your distance, rat creatures. Oh, and I'm stuck behind... Stuck on the barrels. Yeah, I hope I... I hope I unlock the other characters soon, because I kind of want to see how, you know, other players' gameplay goes. But I really hope there's, you know, char not all of the characters just involve... Uh, click and just aim at an enemy, because the constant beam move feels weird and kind of awkward. As far okay, that is all sorts of lasers. I think I'm safest over here. Oh, I wonder if I can. What the fud? Okay, this is fascinating and very terrifying. I have to say the enemy design is very unique. There, it's like it's pretty obvious what's going on. I am trapped. Oh, this is bad. Uh. It's pretty obvious what's going on with, like, most of them. Like, uh, the laser guy is super obvious. Well, movement speed. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna go with the invincibility. If this one recovers, that would also be good. Well, let's see. But, yeah, it feels like a MOBA roguelike-ish. Huh. No, not really. I don't, I don't really know how to classify this game. I guess roguelike is the best option. All right, we want to take out this laser dick. Laser dick is problem. And I, okay, I still have my right click. There we go. The, the problem is I'm getting progressively weaker and they don't hand out a whole lot of healing in this game, as far as I can tell. Boink! But it definitely has, it, hmm, I'm, I'm trying to think of like specific games, but yeah, it, it's got like almost MOBA style gameplay. Can I hit this guy from here? Yeah, all right. Cheese it. I don't know if I can shoot missiles out of the sky. But I appreciate where they're going with it. It's kind of one of those where I'm not sure how often I'm gonna play this one, but I'm gonna try and play it 
a decent amount just because I want to see how it goes as it develops because it seems it seems like it's got potential it just requires some amount of work all right permanent rush kill heal 10 not sure what that does what rush is but anything that heals me is probably worth getting but yeah, after this, I'm absolutely going to stack my deck with some... <laughs> with uh, legitimate cards here. <laughs> Instead of herpet derping my way through. No, I... Oh, okay, you guys are problems. Going invincible there was a good idea. But yeah, constant pirate music is going to, like... We're in... Oh, shoot, that hurts. We're in, like, permanent sea shanty mode for whatever mysterious reason. Uh, as far as, like audio style goes and it's confusing okay oh shoot there are two of you guys I'm just gonna give it a little bit of time I want to go invincible for fighting double laser dude let's see if I can hit them I don't know how long that lasts oh that goes away faster than I'd like I do not well I mean at least once I know his pattern it's not so bad but uh Double, double laser dude here is going to be a problem. I wish that the shield had more of a telegraph and it was going to disappear. Because it's not... It's not as easy as I would like to uh, ascertain like when it's safe or not. Oh, he does like a... He does like a pustule on his back that blows up, which is hella gross. Uh, and I have to watch when he does that, because... That is when things get... Dangerous. He's almost dead, too. Unfortunately, so are we. What is that thing up here? It looks like a bomb. I'm not sure if it's good for me or not. Okay, he exploded into many, many chunks. Does this blow up when I hit it? Nope. Well, it did, but I don't think it killed me or not. Alright, ability bolt seems kind of fun. So there's, there's no healing here. Is there? Wow. I guess I will get better at, like, dodging attacks once I know what everybody's attacks are. But, uh, for now? Ugh. Let's see. And yeah, my health is 35. It is not... We're not in a good position here. These guys are also very fast. So, our best bet is largely just running around and using abilities left and right. Hoping for the best instead of, like, hack and slashing it. Okay. Wow, that is a lot of dudes. Boink. At least nobody seems to have, like, particularly disastrous ranged attacks. But, uh... I guess I focus on the weak ones and use the right-click to get out of there. This is... Okay. Note to self, don't Rambo, you don't get enough health. Yeah, this is definitely a roguelike. Even though I'd love to Rambo, this feels like a game that would... That would be really fun to Rambo around with. Uh, that probably means automatic death. Okay. It's weird they move, like, slowly and quickly for no good reason. Alright. Yeah, I should be able to clear levels like this, but we're going to run into some serious issues unless I get some healing here. But then again, I'm not really betting on myself winning for at least a little while yet. Alright, what did we get? Heal whenever I use a consumable. I'm gonna double my health, which... Doesn't do us much good here. Alright, so we do have... We do have the uh, vampire thing. I think I can use that. And do okay. Let's cross our fingers here. What the... What? Two of them? The bullshit is this. Alright, we need to kill you. Quick. And there's one down. So we've got Lord Fire Dick. And... Oh. There's a healing potion, I think. Some kind of item. Maybe. Oh, yep. They picked it up. Somebody picked it up. I'm not 100% clear on that one. Oh, shoot. Be careful. Oh, I'm I am stuck. I was really hoping I could get between them, but, uh, well, not the case. Alright, this is... This is brutal. I almost feel like this game is supposed to have, like, PvP. Which is interesting. At least they have less health, actually, from what I can tell. Because Captain Bloat over there is not nearly, like, is, has way less health than he did earlier. Alright, at least I can do drive-bys and stuff. 
And I'm very glad I have the ability that... Ah, damn. I was really hoping I could kill him. Just for a little bit. Alright, there we go. He is dead. No healing for me, though. Well, I'll just beat this guy down, town, and time to leave. Okay. Not dead yet. Yeah, my max HP is 520. If only my current HP weren't 30. Like, it's meaningless having loads of HP when you can't use it. At least this is... Like, now that I'm kind of gaming my HP in my favor, or not my HP, my, my abilities in my favor, this seems a lot more doable. All right. Chance to cast Shock Nova. Heal 20 whenever I use a consumable. All right. Well, let's see how we go. And I need to remember to use the vampir vampirism thing. Oh! 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 Okay, can I bust you up? Nope, I can't bust you up at all. All right. Well, let's get as much health back as pa- Ah! Uh, ha! Ah! Not dead yet, mysteriously enough. Okay. But, uh, damn close. All right, keep running. We are in the concerning areas of everything. Those flame gouty creatures are a problem. At least I can stun them around and do stuff like that. Where are you, Mr. Laser Creature? Laser Trap? Alright. Ha 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 ha. Suck it. There's one down. Let's keep going while we're invincible. Yeah, having a little invincibility shield is definitely making this a lot more doable. And it does actually look like they can injure each other. Which is nice. I wish I healed more, though. Or at all. Between levels. I feel like I'm playing Vigante to a degree. Okay. Just you left. Thank you. Okay. Uh, is that a bonus to movement speed? If I could... Boots of speed. Awesome. And... A hasty dagger. And shock helmet. Alright. Just spent all of my cards. If only I healed based on... Uh, did we get a health potion at all here? Nope, not at all. I do kind of wish the cards that we had in our like inventory, our unused cards, would... Uh... Oh, wow. That lifesteal thing. Our, that lifesteal thing. Ah! Missiles. That lifesteal thing is seriously one term... One use, period. So I think this guy is the one with the missiles. Is the most concerning. Captain Sniper Man, though. Kind of a problem. Oh, well, we're kind of doing this here. I just need to... Re oh, yeah, it is the sniper dudes that fire all the missiles. So, not you, actually. You're specifically uninteresting for me. Oh, he goes stealth and stuff. I was not... Invincible. I pressed it, but it didn't work. Alright, sniper's down. All we have left is, uh, uh, rocket. Rocket jerk. Jerk rockets. Alright, there we go, and we get... Muscle bulm. 10% damage. Totally what we need. Please give me health. I am so, so close to death at all times now. It's concerning. The, uh, the sword... Uh-oh. Is that a... That's a rocket truck. What the shit? Alright, well, I uh, have very temporary invincibility and those guys are throwing Molotovs all over the place. Alright, so it seems like 90% of the strategy here... Ah, she's not even doing anything to me. 90% uh, of the strategy here is just to flee in terror and use extremely abusive hit-and-run type tactics. I am generally okay with this. Okay. I don't even know what specifically is going on in to missile card out more than anything and those guys yeah I really don't know what that ground target circle thing is but it's super concerning I get up oh, okay don't that ah, don't stand in it without whatever the hell's going on not sure where it's originating either oh shit that actually does damage to me okay so avoid the stationary bombs good to know 
I murder you? Thank you. I really wish I got health on kill. That'd be nice. Yeah, so she's got like some kind of weird radial move. Now, I'm not sure if she's a character I unlock or something. All right. Well, I don't even know if it's she. I'm just assuming Bone Lady. Maybe? I want to keep her distance. I've got 27 health left. Up. At least seems like uh, only really uses abilities. They're fairly easy to avoid and stuff. So we've got that going for me. But uh, balls. This is not a good si situation to be in. That is for certain. Seriously. They've got like 500 health. I've got far less. At the very least, I've got those like shooter beams. But those are kind of meaningless. Given our situation. I'm just going to hit it a couple of times, and then, uh, well, run away, and over the best, but yeah, I feel like this game needs a tutorial or something. At the very least, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna kill this thing. Whatever the hell, hell it's supposed to be. Not 100% clear. Okay, don't get hit by the crazy bouncy orbs. It's almost dead. Just two seconds, we've got this. One, bam! Invincibility, tanking! Got it. And those things are still going. Please tell me what the other thing does. 25% chance of refreshing all skills on, uh, on kill. Nice. Oh boy. Unfortunately, it doesn't really give you a whole lot of context to anything. Those are a lot of snipers. Alright, well, fleeing in terror seems to be pretty viable here. Those snipers on the other end. Kind of jerks. Cover, please save me. I really don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just flabbergasted I haven't died yet. Apparently my nukes do damage and stuff. Yeah, I'm almost to the end. So I've got that going for me. It's just, uh... Till then, whoo panic. And even then, panic. I, I really need to kill these guys. That's not working. We don't have much cover left except for... Gotta go fast. Okay, that was interesting. So, my shields are effective at stuff. Your... Damn it. Well, that's the end of that. I was utterly destroyed and almost made it to the end. And unfortunately, I think I get to... I have to play as that character again. Did I complete my quest? Did I unlock anything new? Did I do anything? Oh, quest progress. I defeated a boss. Alright, so there's one quest. I get 100 gold. Not sure what that does. What else do I get? Uh, didn't get to the end. Dude, oh, these are new quests. Okay, so play 30 cards. Okay, so at the end of these, we get stuff. Now let's, now let's see. Um, what's shop? Buy card pack. I have 100 gold. So I get the feeling this might actually end up being a free-to-play type game, and, uh, like, it might end up being a free-to-play type game, and then you, then you have, like, a cash shop system. I kind of hope it doesn't go that way, though, that where you, like, actually spend real money on it. Either way, uh, we just bought a bunch more cards. Let's, uh, oh, I see, go into the pit. Did I unlock this guy yet? Nope. So I, I assume I'm gonna have to unlock more than this. I don't know if this guy has a face or what, or if... Oh, he's got a helmet. Okay. It's just too bright and stuff. Now, can I edit this deck? Cards. My decks. Okay, here, here's how we edit our decks. I'm just going to dump everything out of here, and we're going to take a look at it. But, yeah, no, that's really frustrating that, uh, that the quests that I already did uh, are the ones that we just got, like, we just unlocked. It's kind of frustrating. Either way... We're gonna want overflow. Oh, you can. Oh, you can stack multiple cards. Oh, that's really interesting. So I could actually stack like a bunch of certain things. All right. Uh. Hey, pigman. What does rush mean? I don't know what that means at all. Oh, either way, ability bolts is really useful. Actually, if I can get like. Oh, I can only have two. Damn. I was really hoping I'd have more than that. I'm gonna go with lightning rod. Cracking whip isn't super useful. 
Let's see. Uh, item salvage might be okay. Oh, on arena end, heal me uh, some of your health. So apparently you can only have like two, give or take. Uh, I'm gonna go with Bloodthirster. Just because after a certain point you have so, mu so much mana, it doesn't even matter. These are both great. Attack speed's not bad. Movement speed, how many of those do I get? Not much. Let's see. Regenerate. Uh, do do do. Chance to crit's kind of okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to see anything else that we have to like heal though, because we don't want to use consumables if we can avoid it. But I think a lot of these are. Like juices of growth sound kind of, sounds kind of fun. So I'm gonna go with that one because you get like super powerful. All right. Oh. Okay. So rush is like either kill an enemy like really early on or I don't know. I'll figure it out. I do wish. Hello, mind bend, healing potion, multiple of those. Uh yeah. This this feels like kind of a mixture between a trading card game, and a and uh, roguelike. MOBA twin stick shooter freaking it's a weird mash, but it's cool I keep piling these on Really anything with healing because that seems like the most useful because I can probably actually beat the game uh, As like a completely vanilla character assuming that I don't Get my ass handed to me. Let's see. Because we don't want Masochistic Blade. That would be great, but we'd lose health. We don't get any more. Alright. Bomb Drone. We'll see if I can find it. Let's see. Mana Boost is apparently good. Where's Bomb Drone? Is he... Duo Bot? Okay. Oh, Bomb Drone. There we go. And that's it. I don't think I can add any more to this. All right, there we go. There's our deck, and I haven't bothered naming it yet. Let's uh, let's go back to play and try again, but I'm going to cut the recording.